fell out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters, and beyond that, fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Take care. So we're at Lakeside then, wherever that might be. Quest log's certainly shortened down now, we're down to seven. Might be getting close to finding Berengar as well. Thinking he's dead the whole past chapter and then the revelation that he's actually alive, so... The Professor has now met his demise, that's for certain. Probably in the the characters, Professor. Yeah, Professor is dead. Defeating him wasn't easy, but it was very satisfying. There was one down. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be dagger No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Gul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at crypt. We love wish humans, yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right? Another Witcher? Gralol, exact. Disloving ghouls at crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. No, oh no, we're not done yet. Talk. Gulpul Talhul. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Talk. Gulpul Talhul. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malal Bull. Witch Malal? Which my lord bull? Bull must be. No bull means idiot. 
<laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malol Bool. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> Farewell. Well, that one and that one's going to go hand in hand by the looks of it. Crypt looks to be on the other side of this island. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay, but perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I should await you at the end of the beach. In an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Who are you? A naiad, a water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. Farewell. And that's just west along the shore, probably near that house by the looks of it. this leading to a dead end? It is, but there's a drunk here. Hopefully we'll uncover much of this island as we can. Those wyverns up there look to be attacking a peasant woman. At least we've uncovered that part of the map, so let's head back and kill these drowners.
Sign is so powerful and increased with the silver sword after it because it's an extra 40% damage, I think, from normal. So it deals with them quite swiftly. Well, I could probably do with finding an inn as soon as possible to drop a lot of my stuff off. together if we can. That's one area cleared. When I behold you, I wonder why they call us outcasts. Go, Dwan. Another fireplace. Oh, cave. I haven't the strength to hunt. I'll soon fade like stars when dawn comes. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Hmm. Yes? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Farewell. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Need help? 
No charity, please. I see. Care to play dice? Why not? Got nothing to lose. Yo, you can bet a lot against this guy. Not a bad first thought. <laughs> Probably got me here. Sudden death, that's normal. Why did he get to roll? That's not fair, he got to roll again! Ah. Just because one went off the table, that's not my fault. He's got a way better roll because of that, right? Come on, yes! End. Seems to be another way around here. Don't know if it leads to anywhere. Oh, it doesn't look it. I can see the side of rocks. No. Nothing. I cannot wait to fight. Well, I've beat one. I think Zoltan said to play three or four, I think it was. I found one already at the start of this chapter. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. Just trying to pull all these wolves together. Easy enough. Different Maribor forests. Have to eat, uh, take one of those to get an inventory space. Thinking about it, the ring's probably worth more. Another place of power ahead. And we have a corpse. Nothing in particular on it though. Road to the fields, that's the next area. 
must be through here, I guess, then. Because that's the passage to the murky water, then I guess murky waters is down here. We'll go back up to this house. I need to get over to some island. To kill some, what was it? To, to Black Turn Island. And then on the river bank. So there's two more spots left to clear of drowners and then this special drowner should appear which I kill and then get this necklace. expecting to find that amount of horns in there. Oh, bread. I need five of them, I think, for that elf that's asked me to. Right, what am I dropping? Right, sod it. I'm going to take... Significantly, I'm just going to take that. Hmm? Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm... Amphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water Creepers? No. Hmm... I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking... Hmm... Could I use your boat? Mm hmm... Take care. There's the boat, I'm going to presume that takes me to this island. That was easy. Basilisk. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you, by reputation. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Shinaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Shinaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. 
I invite you to use it. Speak with the Varianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor, sickly fisher king alone remains. Milady, they say I returned to life, but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I do. In answering my question, you have answered your own. Destiny brought me here? I am no mistress of fate. I have seen your past and your future, yet I can speak of neither. I hoped for guidance. Very well. Even if you never know yourself, and forces propel you like wind carries a leaf, it is worth remaining a decent man. I'll remember, milady. Good. Let's speak more. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Farewell. There were a basilisk area. <laughs> that was one thousand five hundred XP for that kill. Immune to stun and knockdown effects, that should come in useful.
and that was significantly harder and yielded not even a third of the XP that those uh, basilisks did. here. Altar. It's just round here. A couple of corpses as well. Did not see that one hiding to the side. Can't get around that way. I wonder what this place is. Wow, it looks like can I walk down? No, no. <laughs> Looks like there's an underwater city down there. And I can put something on this altar. I don't have it. But I guess if you put two things on it, that's going to open up. Or raise, so I can go over there maybe. It's pretty cool either way. to the boat now. Looks like I've checked this whole island. Picked up a couple of quests.
Right then. Still need to go to Murky Waters to clear the last Drowner Pack, and on the way I may as well go in this crypt. See if Berengar lies within. The mysterious man, or Witcher, that we've been looking for most of the game. Got a flutter outside. Mysterious Witcher and Outcast. I finally found him. What the hell am I doing here? What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait because a wraith and some brooks I will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't. <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. I think I'm more powerful, you see. It's not that necklace, I know that. See, I'm probably, I'll get rid of chicken. Where's Berengar run off to? And now he knows our course. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know. But I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again.
No, oh, and he's off again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. God, he seems really weak, Baron. I haven't done any damage to him. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. I want to go deeper and see if there's anything else in here. Twelve orange. Awesome. Death dust. That's new. At least we finally found Berengar, although he does seem uh, a tosser, but well, we'll soon see if that changes. Can't go up there yet. We can talk by the fire. What do you call this? We can talk by the fire. We can talk by the fire. Well, while I'm here, I may as well. Oh, look, no, I want to talk to him before I have a look. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sandy legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. 
You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Well, that priest I've already found. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Farewell. Quests are raking up now. Yeah. Farewell. Hmm. Saying there, Berengar. I found Berengar. I should speak with him. Guess that just leaves for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.